قريبا قريبا ترون العجيبا صراعا رهيبا وسوف ترى بعقل ديارك تكون المعارك لكل معارك لأجل دمارك حسام برا قريبا قريبا ترون العجيبا صراعا رهيبا وسوف ترى بعقل ديارك تكون المعارك لأجل دمارك حسام برا مشينا بسمر لجز and now an update from the Sunday Express on the ISIS footage showing crashed Russian plane down by jihadis is fake, says Royal Air Force Top Gun. Excuse me, folks, while well, I have a cold today. Islamic State ISIS footage claiming to show the moment its fighters downed a Russian passenger jet over Egypt is so fake it is laughable, a top aviation ex expert said today. Today's date, November 1st. The former Royal Air Force pilot said there is no way that the video released by the boastful jihadis shows a commercial airliner, adding that it is probably stolen archive footage of an engine fire which could even date back to the 1960s. The comments from retired wing commander Steve Chadwick, OBE, will add to a growing consensus that ISIS is trying to overstate its capabilities by claiming responsibility for the tragedy in which 224 people died. So it is possible that they had nothing to do with this. In the grainy footage, which is a shot to a background of Arabic chanting, a plane can be seen flying along before exploding into a fireball and hurtling towards the ground. ISIS jihadis claimed it showed the moment that their fighters downed Metrojet Flight 9268, which crashed in the disputed Sinai Peninsula area of Egypt shortly after leaving Sharm El Sheikh Airport. They said that the attack was in response to Vladimir Putin's bombing campaign in Syria, which has destroyed hundreds of terrorist targets. Almost all of the passengers on board were Russian, but Commander Chadwick, who has more than 26 years aviation experience, said that the footage cannot be of the incident because it shows completely the wrong type of plane. He said, it's laughable that they might claim that this is an Airbus 321. That is not an Airbus. Even though the footage is very grainy, that is an aircraft with the engines under the tail. If the engine was on fire, it would be coming from under the wing. The ISIS video shows the moment a plane crashes, catches fire. But aviation experts have shed huge doubt on its authenticity. The plane leaves a huge trail of smoke as it falls from the sky. The experienced aviators said the aircraft was likely to uh, be a Russian-made Aleutian 62 fighter jet, which was introduced in the 1960s and is still used and used in some parts of the world. He added that the footage was almost certainly taken from the cockpit of another plane, not the ground as ISIS claims, and said it, it also did not show any of the hallmarks of a missile attack. He told the mirror, if that was a hit with a surface-to-air missile, it would obliterate it, it would disintegrate it, and you would be looking at confetti. It's just smoking. What they've done is they've found footage of a plane with an engine fire. That's air-to-air -air footage. It's an aircraft falling at a similar speed. Investigators are still scouring the wreckage of the planes for clues. Officials have said the plane could have suffered a technical fault. The plane's black box recorders will be examined to determine the cause of the crash. Other experts have pointed to the fact that the plane in the video appears to be flying much lower than a commercial airliner's cruising altitude of 33,000 feet. The video was also not circulated through ISIS official media channels and the branding on it appears to be inconsistent with previous releases. Security expert Will Geddes said the video was unlikely to be genuine in part because ISIS has in the past produced slickly filmed high definition footage to document its worst atrocities. He said there's nothing conclusive in that blurry video that shows anything. It could be stock footage. It doesn't tally with the reports coming out of Egypt. There are so many questions. Do we know the source of the video beyond whoever posted it on Twitter? ISIS are pretty good at showing evidence of the horrific atrocities they've carried out. Let's see what the air crash investigations say. <clears throat>
Families grieve at Polkova Airport in St. Petersburg as Russia marks a day of mourning. ISIS shocked the world yesterday when it claimed responsibility for the deadly attack, which is one of the worst aviation disasters in decades. Sinai Province, a terrorist cell allied to the group, released a statement online saying it had brought down the plane in response to Russian airstrikes that killed hundreds of Muslims on Syrian land. But both Russian and Syrian authorities have ruled out the involvement of ISIS in the tragedy, saying it is more likely that the aircraft developed a technical fault.